looking uglier and uglier by the second. Wow. That is a lot of oldness popping through. Wow. Did I not make my bed? Usually I make my bed in the mornings, but I guess I forgot. Y'all, I just got home from work. And um, today was fabulous because it was slow, which means I don't have to deal with any people. And um, just kidding. I love dealing with people. People are just so lovely and spunky. But I just wanted to share with y'all something that I got that is so flipping nice. It is just makes my heart hurt. So this customer, well, he's technically a friend, a very good friend of mine. He's been coming for a long time and we got to know each other and he's cool. So he got me this. That's the packaging. And I didn't know, I mean, I've never seen this before. I had no idea. So Swarovski, Swarovski. But he set it down and he was just like, I have been looking everywhere for this since Christmas and I was gonna give it to you and I couldn't find it. They were out of stock, yada, yada. Well, let me just show you what is inside. Because it is, oh my gosh, my heart. The camera is no justice to how beautiful and shiny it is. I just, I love it so much. I just want to keep it in my back pocket at all times for good luck, but I know I would break it. So we're going to put this in my frog collection. By the way, I love frogs because my aunt Stella who passed away, who was my favorite aunt and the one that like, I don't know, I remember most in my childhood growing up and was usually the one that was always there for me. She loved frogs. And so I have a little frog collection. And he's gonna go right there in the front. Sorry guys, y'all are in the back burner. But I believe these were her frogs. My mom gave them to me. So they keep right there. And of course, you know, we gotta have the candles. And my mom gave me that angel. And then there's Gladys, which, Fun fact, this little gal or guy or whatever of a it it is, my mom and I, we made these little angels. Let me show you. They're actually these, oh, these little angels. They are like little sticks and then you just put fabric around them and make them into cute little angels. And so we were doing our angels for the very first time. It's like a Christmas not tradition, but you know, whenever she comes and visits, we try to keep busy because otherwise we would get into trouble and she definitely is trouble and both of us together, a lot of trouble. So this was hers. Like I was all excited about mine, which was beautiful. And then she pops up with Gladys. We call her Gladys. See, and she doesn't have any hair, but you know, a lot of people don't have hair. Like I am balding at the source. And so we love her still. Isn't she beautiful? Wow, look at that sexy Gladys. Oh, oh, put your skirt down, Gladys. She gets a little crazy and chaotic and sometimes, you know, like, likes to make my lights go out and make loud windy noises and make me scared and such. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of Gladys. We've come to figure out or we blame her. So she is right up here. Of course, she's kind of prestige, if you will. We set her over here on top of the world, you know, above all these things that I have, like all the ones that are actually pretty good are in the back and Gladys is in the front. And that is because she thinks that she just owns everything and she's royalty and you know, she will cause a ruckus and bad things happen if she's not right there. So yeah, but my little foggy's gonna be right here, right there. Actually, this might be bad because if it's by my lottery, my lottery, wow, I should buy a lottery. Why am I thinking lottery? If it's by my alarm clock, then I might just nip it off. And I don't want this froggy to jump, jump. No, no. So we might just push her back. There. See? 
all the froggy friends will all get to play around with each other. Yay. So that is my dolls that I deal with on a daily basis. This is the only kind of dolls that I will have in my house because I am so scared of Chucky. Oh, this is another one she made. Actually, I might have made this one. No, no, no. She made this one, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't like dolls. I was traumatized. Oh, this one's cute. By, uh, you probably know, Chucky. Or you don't because you're way too young. But I watched Chucky as a little girl. I'm sure everybody did. But that was the... Do y'all hear my shoes squeaking in my chair? But Chucky was the worst. And so I did not have dolls growing up. Nope, I sure didn't. I eliminated every doll in the house because of that movie. I mean, I had like Barbie, or I wanted Barbies. Barbies was like rich people stuff. Like I grew up kind of, you know, not very richity. Well, we grew up in poverty. That's just fancy term for poverty. So dolls was rich people toys. I didn't want them. I did not. No, thank you. So, <laughs> well, that is it. I don't really know how to end vlogs sometimes because I get awkward. So instead of being awkward, I'm just going to tell you that I really hope you did something great for your body today. And I really, really hope you at least get rid of all your dolls because dolls are the devil. Okay. Talk to you later. Thank you.